We're all familiar with the Hasselblad H3D collection, the 31 megapixel and the 39 megapixel, and now the new addition to the family is the 50 megapixel, and there's also a new zoom lens. And joining us to talk about all the new excitement is Christian Paulson, the CEO of Hasselblad. Let's begin. You have the great 31 and 39, and now 50 megapixels. Yes. Uh Together with Kodak, we have uh, developed a new uh, sensor which has smaller pixels and uh, the good news about that is that our lenses can easily resolve those details. The new 50 megapixel product gives you at least the same dynamic range as the 39 and 31, but uh, with uh, higher resolution, less moray and actually improved colors and especially in the red tones and the crucial skin tones uh, the, the colors are improved. This is a good time to come out with this camera because there's this this debate amongst photographers now that with your competitors coming out with higher megapixel cameras with all the different uh, you know, special effects on them. They're asking the question, do I need a medium format camera? And your answer is absolutely yes. Yes, I think that uh, especially colors and dynamic range is, is where you really see the big difference from our H3D cameras to 35 millimeter DSLRs. And we have on this Photokina show actually decided to make a setup of white and black and snow and a lot of bright light and to actually show all those people that has 35 how much extra you get from, from our cameras and it's been fun to see how surprised they actually are to see the difference. And also the zoom lens is new. Yeah, we have uh, made our first uh, digital designed uh, zoom lens that actually takes full advantage of our digital uh, lens corrections and at the same time is the first lens that has an aspheric lens element in it and uh, that means that we can make a much more compact, much higher performing lens. It's uh, The lens element itself is uh, the biggest lens element that Fuji who made our lens elements uh, have actually ever built and it's a fantastic performing lens. Goes all the way from 35 millimeter to 90 millimeter with an aperture of 4.0, so that's really remarkable. There's nothing like holding a Hasselblad, is there? No, that is really something. I stick to it, and uh, <laughs> but I also am the lucky guy who don't need to to pay pay for it, so I can just go in the warehouse and pick it up. So uh, that's and, nice. And and speaking of cash. The other great announcement here at Photokina is that you are reducing the price across the board on all your Hasselblads. Yes, I think that the high-end uh, market coming from the old camera back market has always had extreme high prices but has also had, you can say, a loyalty rebate for people to upgrade. It's really within a price range now where, where I wouldn't say everybody can afford it but at least it's it's much more reasonable and I really we really can see a lot of former DSLR, 35mm DSLR users buying into this and showing interest in, in our products now. So you're at the price range now where people can, can really think about it, where before it might have been totally untouchable. Yeah, it's clear that, that, that twice the price of a Canon Nikon camera is okay, but in the old days we had four times the price and, and then, then that was simply too much for, for photo enthusiasts and for professionals who, 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 who has uh, a, a sort of a varied uh, type of, 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 of job they, they, they need to do. So uh, yeah, it's, it's really a, a, an interesting time right now and, and it was, it's really created a lot of excitement. At Photokina in uh, Cologne, Germany, Jerry Ower, Calumet Photo News.